Aaron and Pete are a wonderful couple, and they're good friends. They've been through some really hard times. Aaron's house burned down a couple years ago, so she lost everything. She didn't have enough money for a wedding cake. Contacted a friend of ours to provide the wedding cake down in South Carolina. I think it's probably about 1,000 miles over three hot days. That's a long way for a cake to go. Traveling from Belton, South Carolina to Narragansett, Rhode Island, this cake must be safely transported within three days in time for the wedding. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Do you have cake that can try? Of course. Oh my gosh, let's do this. Come on in. Ooh, it smells so good in here. Mm, it's so good. It's gonna go straight to my butt. Maybe they should just pay you in cake, Jen. I want to see this cake. OK. We have it in the refrigerator. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. They have uh, white chocolate with raspberry filling. Oh. Mm. And chocolate, chocolate chip with fudge. Oh, with my fudge. god. I hope it doesn't get ruined. Um, I'm sure nice. you'll get it there. I hope so, God. You got it, OK? Mm -hmm. So this is fondant, so I shouldn't worry. I mean, it's a little sturdier. Actually, this is buttercream. Oh. If butter is in the name, I'm a little worried about it melting. All right. Hold it there. OK. Got it. So we'll put the clear. OK. So you can check. Now, what Holly's going to do is she's going to put a rod right down to the middle of the cake, and that cake is not going to go anywhere. It's not going oh, anywhere. Through all layers. It's going to lock it right in place. It could flip over, and it'd be fine. I'm not saying it's going to flip over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could just run over it. It'd be fine. You could eat it. It'd be fine. All right. And their wedding is Sunday at 2 o'clock? Oh, no, it was changed to Saturday to 2 o'clock. Uh, no, you didn't. OK. I was told the wedding was on Sunday. This isn't going to be good. So I'm assuming the cake's going to go here in the cab. Is um, that right? Actually, I was going to put it in the trailer. Unfortunately, this has to go in my trailer because it won't fit in my back seat. We've That's never cool. had a cake inside the trailer before. Everybody knows that you don't ship a cake that's buttercream in a trailer. Is it going to be bad if it's not air conditioning? No. They're skeptical about having this cake travel this far, and so am I. OK, I don't think that's going to move. Scott, hey, this is Jennifer. I've got a couple questions. What time's the wedding? At 2? No, we need the cake delivered by 1. What? Oh, my gosh. OK. Oh, here it comes. There Hi, she is. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm Scott. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. There it is. We'll carry it in. OK. You got to keep it out of sight. <laughs> okay. Just step right here. Right there, you got it? Yeah, right here. Yep. Okay. Perfect. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This is not good. I'm not happy. Do you think it's maybe the humidity? I promise, like, I tied her down. Well, I swear, like, I, I didn't hit anything. I don't know what happened to the cake, but it was in my trailer for three days with no air conditioning. I'm not happy. This is such a letdown. I hope Jen doesn't ask for a bite of the cake now. We need to just suck it up and deal with it. She needs a wedding cake, so. I need to just take the front off. Happiest day of someone's life, and Jen finds a way to ruin it. Like, I feel horrible, because you know, this has never happened. This isn't my fault, but I'm going to be the one that gets blamed, because I'm the one that shipped it. What's a wedding without a wedding cake? I don't want to ruin someone's wedding. You know, the bride didn't know anything was wrong with the cake, and I'm getting paid. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our favorite load broker has hooked us up with a pretty odd load. It's a huge replica of a king cake. The king cake is a Mardi Gras tradition, especially in Louisiana. It's served at parties, and there's a baby Jesus in it, and whoever receives the slice with the baby in it, they have to host the next party. 
So it's a fun tradition, and now we just have to ship this replica to a parade. One of the big anticipations for Mardi Gras is the king cake. So I started making big king cake sculptures, and it's about 440 pounds and 10 feet by 6 feet. It's just a beast. The king cake has found a home. It's going to be on a float in Gulfport for Mardi Gras and get to ride down and have its moment of glory. We are an all-ladies Mardi Gras crew. Mardi Gras is huge here. And I discovered that this artist had created this king cake statue. We said, we need to get this, and we need to like put it in our parade. So we don't have too far to go, about 130 miles. We're picking up right outside of New Orleans, and we're going to take it to Diverville, Mississippi. All right, let's see what this cake is about. I can't wait to see how big it is. All right, babe, let's do it. Hello? Hello, hey, how you hey, doing? Hey, how's it hey. going, man? All right, we're here hey. for the birthday cake. The birthday cake, the king cake? The king cake. Oh, you want to check it out? Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, here it is. This is the king cake. OK, well, I am the king of transport, so I guess it's fitting to have a king cake on mm -hmm. the trailer of the king of transport. So hey, hey, let's do it. Goes real. Hey, how you doing? Um, oh, if I had some bees, not I would here, give Not them. here, okay. not here, not here. You ready? Yep. Boy, you are the king, huh? All right. Ugh. Boy, last time I moved this, it took six people. Is that how let we me, doing uh, it? Let me do this. Can yep. rest it on him? OK, good. Ugh. We're going to put the frame on. Yep. I haven't eaten today yet, so this thing is looking pretty good to me right now. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just messing around, even if I could eat it. I'm not going to eat something that's going to cost me over $1,000. All right, one more time, Try. down. There you go. Good. <laughs> oh. Oh, you still got it. Look at that. <laughs> I've been to the Mardi Gras before. Special throw, oh, so I want you to have that. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yep. Oh, wait, I got something for you. What? It's a golden baby. That baby goes inside of the king cake. I usually have a car seat for it, but just be, be very careful. I'm not sure how you ship baby Jesus. In a manger? <laughs> we made it to the drop-off for this king cake, but the buyer for the king cake called us yesterday and told us that they couldn't do the drop-off like they planned and that they needed to do it tomorrow, so we got to town and called it a day. But now that this run has taken us another day, it's important that we get this drop off quickly because we need to get going on another load since we're not making enough profit from this to cover multiple days. And we had to pay for the hotel to add to the cost of this run. And I'm just hoping this drop off is problem free so we can get it in fast and get our full rate. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Taisha. Thank yes. you so much for bringing this to us. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all want to show it to us? We're going to show it to you. Let's do it. This has been a very eventful transport for us. Yes. yes. Did it make you hungry thinking of king cake <laughs> Listen, every time? It did. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to go on the other side, unstrap, unstrap it. Unstrap it. Good. Absolutely. We've got Let's some people this. to help us. Come on over. Help them unload the yep. king cake. Be careful. It looks gorgeous in it's here. It's beautiful. It is everything that I thought it was going to be. I mean, this is Mardi Gras. This is a king cake. A few little nicks here and there, but, they, but that's OK. Can that can be fixed. fixed. Mr. Eddie will come fix it. Oh, oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? Oh, no. the and baby. I am not the father. The baby. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Well, I am so excited about this. Ben, will you hold this Absolutely, for me? Absolutely. I will hold the baby. I bet now you want to get paid. Definitely. OK, y'all, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer. Nice to not, meet you. Not the greatest of news, but... Uh, What's going on? Yeah. Well, we're, we're at the end of the season, mm -hmm. and I know this is a rush situation for you, but we just had some huge orders go out. Mm -hmm. We're kind of running behind. We can wait a little while. I have a deadline to meet by 5. I have to be back in Austin, wow. Texas. What the hell am I going to do? Is there any way that I can go out on the boat? Mm -hmm. I don't care if I have to go out there and catch it myself. Oh! 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 I hate screaming like a girl. Quit being such a diva. I've been pinched by these things before, and it doesn't hurt. How am I supposed to transport these crawfish? Wow, there's the problem. We are totally out of coolers. 
Are you kidding me? No more coolers? So the big ship must wipe this out. How am I supposed to get these things back to Austin alive? What to tell you, other than we're going to have to go back to old school, how we used to do it. We're going to line the crawfish in the truck, cover them with burlap, ice machine. She's going to have to take some special care along the way to stop and re-ice and keep them cold. Exactly seven hours to get there within the heat, and these aren't in coolers. These are bed of my truck and Texas heat. I'm glad you won this one, Jen, because that's going to take a lot of ice. She's probably six and a half, seven hours from Austin. I think it's going to be pretty tight. It is 95 degrees outside. I'm about to pull over and check on these guys. I don't want them dying. Only an hour out of my seven hours. This crawfish is already warm. Jen, that's what coolers are for. It's gonna take a lot of my time up. I don't have time to keep stopping and getting ice. I mean, this is just gonna make me late for their grand opening. Don't you think you should see if they're alive before you spend any more money on ice? figure this out. I see an ice machine, 20 pounds for 175. I'm gonna fill the whole back of the bed of this truck up. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. This ice machine's amazing. I'm just gonna fill the bed of my truck. And I want to stop again. Now you stay alive, you bitches. That didn't work. It's only been 45 minutes. Ice is already melted. Look at that. It just blows me away that that ice is melting in this 100 degree heat. Oh. Hi, this is Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, just touching base. How you doing? I'm good. I'm like, I've been icing the crawl daddies down like all day long. <laughs> what? Wait, what? They didn't provide you coolers? Sir? Is this a joke? I don't know you that well. If I would have bought the coolers myself, that would have been half my profit. It's talked about five times, so let's help their laugh when I get there. Just do what you got to do. But I'm counting on you as a professional transport. Those suckers have got to be cold. <laughs> Mistake number one, counting on gin. Going through that extra expense of $600 just to ship those things from Louisiana. All this work will all be for naught if she doesn't do her part. That last batch did not last long. It's just getting hotter closer we get to Austin. I left the ice in the bags, and that seemed to work a little bit better. But I swear, if it's completely melted, I'm going to sell the crawfish on the side of the road. Oh, please don't let these things not be dead. How am I going to explain that? All right, let's do this. Jennifer, I'm hoping they're cold and alive. How can you tell if they're alive or not? They're moving! They're alive. Right. I think I impress myself every time I make a delivery. <laughs> Glad somebody's impressed with your work, Jen. Coming through. Coming through. Right. Oh, I like coming through. How do these look? Have y'all gotten them out at all? They're kicking. Thank God. Those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. Good. I spent all morning catching them. You have earned an adult beverage. Get ready to witness some amazing ship. Come on, Mama. We got a deadline. Shipping Wars is back and bigger than ever. Good. Only on A&E.